In this video I'm gonna walk you through the process of color grading the FX30 Night Shots in DaVinci Resolve. This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial that you can try as a beginner creator. If you're new on my channel my name is Adrian and in here I teach shooting, editing and color grading. So tap subscribe and let's begin. So first what I'd like to do is to create a um, couple of uh, serial nodes, so uh, Alt S. And uh, in the first one, I will call it um, the Vici White Gamut because we're gonna transfer our uh, lock clip into Da Vinci White Gamut color space and at the end we're gonna go back from um, Da Vinci White Gamut to Rack 709. So in the first node open effects and search for color space transform and apply it to this uh, node. As an input color space you got S uh, gamma 3 scene as input gamma you got s log 3 and as output you got davinci white gamma davinci davinci intermediate and right now let me copy this ctrl c and ctrl v yeah but i need to change the nodes uh, the node level again like 709 but if i open effects I just click swap so I go from the Vinci White Gamma to Rec 709 and Gamma 2.4 in my case. So this is basically how I deal with uh, my um, lock image. If you want to learn how to deal with lock images in DaVinci Resolve, I got a separate video in here. Just for information, in my project settings, I got color science set to DaVinci YRGB, timeline color space and output like that, like so. In here, I'm gonna deal with uh, exposure, then balance, contrast, and if needed, can also correct saturation. So starting with exposure in the HDR, if I want to change the exposure of my s log 3 image, I go to HDR wheel and first I set my color space to S uh, Gamma 3 Cine, Sony S Gamma 3 Cine and my Gamma to S log 3 because this tool is a color space aware and right now using my global wheel I can increase the overall exposure. Let's boost it up by one step, one whole step. So this is before, this is after. As a next step, let's uh, deal with uh, balance. There are several ways how to deal with balance. I strongly recommend you to watch this video where I discuss this topic. So my preferred way is to set gamma to linear and in primary wheels set luminance mix to zero and uh, correct uh, balance with the cane wheel. As you see, the image is quite warm. FX30 captures quite warm images. I prefer my night shots to be more uh, cold. So I will drag this uh, cane wheel towards blue. So this is before, this is after. Even more like so, before and after, okay? So balance is done. Next, contrast with night shots. You need to be very careful with contrast. It only requires uh, a slight adjustment in my opinion. So using the curves, I will only try to create a very subtle S-curve shape here. You can easily overdo it with uh, contrast while grading the night shots. So this is what uh, contrast adjustments look like. Let me open it in full screen before and after. There is a subtle change. We got a uh, bigger distance between blacks and highlights. As I said before, saturation in most of the cases is okay. At night colors uh, do not look very saturated, but if needed, what I would suggest you to use is a color slice. 
and saturation and density control. So if you really want to boost it, try to do with it saturation control or density control. I think density works better for night shot before and after. And as a final step, what I'd like to do is to add some pro mist or black mist effect. If you didn't shot that using a um, pro mist filter, you can add this effect uh, in post. So after your color space transform node in here, create another serial node. And in here, we're gonna try to recreate the pro mist effect. So uh, from effects, search for glow. Uh, let me move it like so and apply it to the last node like that and right now now let me clean up node graph okay so this is my last uh, this window is too small but in purpose for this tutorial i i had to record it like that so in the last node we've um, applied glow effect and in here uh, basically set shine threshold to zero to see how much glow you you get then uh, set saturation also to zero because it will affect too much the overall image and we want only the glow effect then in the global blend of course decrease the overall strength but first let me switch to glow alone output so that I see only the glow effect and I will adjust spread control I will decrease it maybe to something like this so that if you see a source of light like this lamp you see that there is a slight glow around it like so and now switch back to glowing image go down to the global blend parameter and decrease it i like to keep it at around 0.2 to 0.3 so it's not uh, looking artificial so yeah let's set it like that it's our mist and let me show you before and after uh last but not least since we've uh, recorded that image uh, using FX30, which is APS-C censored camera, what would you like to do is also to deal with noise. We can definitely see some noise here. In a studio version, that's not an issue. I'll show you right away how to do it. In free version, you also have option how to reduce noise. I explain it in this tutorial. But right now, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly reduce the noise in studio version. So create a serial node before your color space transform shift s that will create a node before your selected node let me label it noise reduction and in here you got um, motion effect step when you can control the noise i like to set frames to three it's a nice sweet point and um, and estimation to better likewise here mode faster to better you can set this luma parameter really high and uh, noise will be gone but overall image will be affected too much you will lose some sharpness uh, maybe you don't see it uh, on youtube but this is this is how it works so try to reduce noise at the bare minimum if you're fine with what you see don't overdo it so as you see i will only slightly increase luma in temporal threshold and spatial threshold to around 10 and 13 15 something like that this is before let me zoom in even more this is before and after and i think this is fine you don't need to go farther because it will affect the overall image and it will not look natural so this is our source clip and this is our night grade this is how we can approach FX 30 night shots in DaVinci Resolve. Hope you like that. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Check out my latest transition effect and slideshow effect. Cheers and see you in the next one.